So I'm uh, Janne Kitanen, um, Creative Director from 3D Systems, and we're sitting in our office in Amsterdam today. 3D Systems was, was founded um, in the mid-80s by an invention made by Chuck Hall, our founder, uh, which was the stereolithography uh, uh, apparatus. Uh, and pretty much that invention led into the foundation of the whole 3D printing world. Now we have a massive boost in the consumer world through the last few years. So um, the company that I founded, Freedom of Creation, was acquired by 3D Systems two years ago. So what has happened the last, last 13 years, when it comes down to the technologies themselves, I mean, fundamentally nothing has changed ever since uh, Chuck invented the first uh, uh, sterile, sterilitography machine. Um, I think the only, the biggest change that has happened has been the awareness, that people know that these things exist, and they know the possibilities, um, and the ease of use of software, and uh, uh, so pretty much everything is getting easier and easier. Once that happens, then the whole, you know, the masses start, you know, picking it up. We want to put 3D printing in every home. So what we're trying to do is a lot of, a lot of these home machines that came in the market uh, were open source and people could tinker with them. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make products that you can just open the box, take the machine, plug it in, send a file into the machine and it starts printing. And that's truly what's happening with the Cube. We launched the Cube in Vegas during the CES last year. It's priced at $12.99 at the moment. The Cube is the most plug and play 3D printer in the market at the moment. So you take it out of the box, put it in your desk, plug in a cable, register it, plug in a USB stick or wireless, and you can start printing. It's, it's really, really that simple. How the mechanics work is you have a, a, a filament, a coil material on the left side of, of the machine, which feeds into the print nozzle. The, uh, the print nozzle is heated, and it will start making three-dimensional forms based on your, your file that you put in the machine. So what, what I've also um, envisioned is that everything will exponentially grow. Everybody will get started interested in design and making things, and instead of just being consumers and buying things, and um, the designer's role is just merely uh, uh, creating better templates for all these, all these people. If you want to customize something for yourself, then you know, now you have the ability to do that. That's one thing. And of course, that, you, know, you can make any shape you want. But I think the biggest benefit is that you know, I'm not going to judge what you think is beautiful. But now everybody has the power to do whatever they want with very, very easy tools. So, because people always ask me, like, you know, what kind of product would be the killer app for the technology and, you know, what would sell the most? And I always tell people, I don't think it's a product at all. I think it's the empowerment itself.